Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Chemical Guys Detail Garage. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this Subaru BRZ. We had it in the shop a while back, but life hit it. And by that, I mean it's neglected, it's trashed, the wheels are tarnished. This thing used to be impeccable. There was no dust on it. It was always properly cared for it. But today, we are gonna show you guys how to properly restore it. Do you think we can restore it? Comment down below right now and let us know if we can properly restore it. So we're gonna start off with the wheels because that is the dirtiest part of the car. If you guys come close, I'm pretty sure you have something like this laying around. You have a beater that you might not even care about. So this car has heavy amount of brake dust. And when I mean heavy, I'm wearing gloves because of how heavy it is. So today we're gonna go over easy steps on how to properly clean your wheels thoroughly, quickly, and easily using one simple product, which is Signature Series Wheel Cleaner. The reason why I went with Signature Series Wheel Cleaner on this occasion over Decon is because I need something that is more powerful. Something that is citrus based that's gonna remove brake dust without scratching it. This wheel has seen better days. It's filthy, neglected, and I honestly don't even know what's how wheel finishes it. I think it's a gunmetal finish. So before we go and begin, I'm gonna show you guys how dirty it is. Do not do this on your wheels because you might scratch them. In this occasion, it's just for demonstration purposes. I have my finger and I rub it, and wow. Just by me rubbing my finger on the wheel, you see a big, big difference. But whenever I, you do that on the wheel, you might scratch it. So let's get into it. Today, we are gonna go over FBD. What is FBD? Fix bad detailing. And by that, I mean we're gonna go ahead and attack the face, the barrel of the wheel, and then we're gonna get into details. That's how you call it FBD. Face, barrel, details. So this is why we have assortment of brushes in here. So let's get started. Before you start off any wheel detailing, I would recommend go ahead and rinse it off, knock off any loose grammar debris. So I'll go ahead and rinse it off. And just by rinsing it off, nothing came off. You still see my, where my finger was at. It's still clear right there. The rest is filthy. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop open this, this sprayer top. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour in about like two ounces into my bucket. What this is gonna ensure it's gonna add more clean power to my brushes and it's gonna foam up. So I'll go ahead and get my, put my product down, activate the suds, and just like that, now I have foam for extra lubrication and cleaning power. So I'll go ahead and clean the face. Simply spray it onto the face. I'll go ahead and get my green brush. Here it is. I'll spray some product onto my green brush and this when you attack the face you simply start scrubbing it and the reason why I love this brush is because the flag tip bristles are super soft and they contour to any surface so whenever a bristle opens up it attacks the spokes or whatever wheel you're working on and it cleans it up so simply clean up the face make it easy and you can see all that grime that's coming out of out of this face of the wheel very very bad and what ends up happening if you actually leave this grime on your face of your wheel for too long it etches into the finish and it does not clean up over time so if you do need a little bit more clean power simply spray it on very filthy wheels i like to go ahead and spray it twice just so i could go ahead and make sure that i get everything out of the wheel and let me tell you guys about this car so this car used to be garage kept very well maintenance but like i said life hit it and by that, I mean it parks outside now. There's contaminants that land on the surface of the vehicle, the road grime, debris. He has no access to water, so this is why I'm pretty sure he let it go. So now it's barrel time. Get my red rocket. These wheels aren't that deep. And this little red rocket also has a rubber seal right here that if you bang it against the wheel, it's not gonna scratch. So same exact thing, spray it onto the brush. And you always wanna start at the top so you can make sure you get everything out. And just by doing one part of the barrel, look how dirty it is compared to the clean side. Looks like a little ice cream. <laughs> Come back, rinse it off. And just keep in mind, I do have a dirt trap at the bottom of the bucket so I could go ahead and make sure I'm not rubbing the same grime or debris all over the same wheel. So go on to the next side. And always start from the top to bottom so you won't work double. And by this, I mean don't go against gravity. Whenever you scrub at the top, all the dirtiness rolls down to the bottom. So if you start at the bottom, you go to the top, it's just very, very bad. So you can go side to side or inside. But look at this, guys. Looks like a little ice cream, like I said. 
So come back, rinse it off, and every single time I scrub it down there, it comes out clean. More lubrication. Oops, I missed the spoke. I mean the barrel. Ugh. Scrub it out. And also the red rocket, the mini red rocket contours to any area. So you want to actually bend it, you can go ahead and bend it. So you can reach hard to reach areas. But these wheels are fairly easy to clean. Why? Because the spokes aren't that intricate. But if the wheels are very intricate, the little red rocket will contour to any wheel. So let me go ahead and finish up this barrel of the wheel and I'll get back to you when it's time for the D. Details. And we're back. So we just finished cleaning up the, the barrel of the wheel, the face of the wheel, but now it's time for the D. By that, I mean details. Intricate details on all types of wheels. Lug nuts, little valve stems, intricate details such as this, or even just the lip around here. You might say, Henry, what type of brush do I use? The All in the Exterior brushes has these very, I would say medium-like, abrasive-like brushes, if that's even a thing, but they're not too rough to go ahead and damage any wheel. They're very soft whenever they get wet. So all you need to do is simply get some water, spray some wheel cleaner onto it, and same exact thing, do the de-gag. Don't go against gravity. Start from the top and work your way to the bottom. So scrub it out. And just by knowing FBD is gonna make your wheel cleaning a lot easier and you will always wash your wheels properly. Come back and scrub it out. Constantly come back and scrub out any grime or debris that may be on your brushes. The reason why, do not be rubbing the same exact grime around your whole entire wheels. Because if you do so, you might have the chance to scratch them. And if you scratch them, you might damage them and the scratches might not come out. All this foam looks like little chocolate water. So keep on scrubbing. Now that I went ahead and did the interior, the interior of the barrel, now I'm going to go ahead and hit the little stems just to make sure I get everything out. After I do all this, I will rinse it all off. And I'll show you guys the crazy before and after. And now I'll hit the lug nuts. Final thing. Spray a little bit more on there. Let's scrub it out. Just by taking in consideration of FBD, it's going to make your wheel cleaning a lot easier. And just by me seeing the finish of the wheel, it's crazy. I don't remember when it was the last time I saw these wheels. Don't say anything. Don't tell Benny. Scrub it out. And now it is time to rinse it off. I'll put my wheel cleaner right there and I will rinse it off. I don't want to put it on too hard because then it's going to splatter everywhere. And check that out guys. Crazy before and after. When I started off with this wheel, this wheel was completely trash. You couldn't even see a speck of shine on it. The brake dust was eating it up. Life hit it, but everybody goes through that. But guys, after this, we will be attacking the body of the car. Can we bring the shine back? It's filthy. The color of the car is black, but it looks white because that's all the contaminants that's been seen on there. So comment down below. Let us know if we can bring back the shine on this car. If you guys like this video, give it a big, big thumbs up, like gigantic thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what type of video you want to see, and we will see you guys next time.